what is going on guys and girls, Enchet Cybersex here, also in this episode, welcome back. Welcome back to episode 3 of Advanced Web Browser Tutorial. And in the last episode we did settings, we did settings and we also did this menu. But obviously we haven't done download and calculator because we're going to do that now. Uh, you might be saying why didn't you do that in the last episode. It's actually because the episode is about an hour long but I cut it all the way down to the um, needed parts and obviously there was about a, there was a certain time length that was all messed up by recording so we're going to start off by adding two window forms the first one can either be downloader or it can be calculated as many matter I'm going to open up both at the same time so the second one is calculator and vice versa doesn't really matter calculator um, but I'm actually just going to code the um, downloader first and yeah so the first thing we want to do is double click on this label or the button whatever you added there and you want to put downloader dot show oh that didn't work dot show uh, now in downloader you want to pretty much just get the size you want oh wait no you don't yeah wait yes, you do but um yeah whatever in text you could put downloader 4 and then you could put your web browser's name um, but if you double click the background you could put um, me.text equals downloader for and you could put add application dot name product name and then when you press the debug button and this is um, and this is here if you press the menu press downloader it will be here and then you obviously download a form as.webbrowser tutorial that would just be your project name if you know so yeah um also you guys can see in the last two episodes where my mouse is for example like i could click the hotmail i could click twitter and you have no idea where my mouse is i'm sorry about that um i have to extract the video from camtasia studio just so i can edit it in uh, vegas i'll rather edit in vegas because i don't like camtasia's um editing um, anyway, you want your form to be the correct size. Now, in my other uh, tutorial, I said to show in taskbar as false. You want to keep showing taskbar as true, just because if you don't keep it as true, um, so many things can go wrong. For example, you could hide, you could hide the uh, form without knowing. Uh, and if I'm correct, if I can remember wherever this is, sizable should be fixed single yeah um, so make it look professional, presentable, whatever you want it to look like and you want to add in three buttons uh, so you could just add in just one button currently um, you could you know just do whatever now we're going to add in two two text boxes first because I'm going to work my way up uh, then down um, so I want mine about this and I'm going to have my text box around there now you, you want to add a label of either above this or to the left of this it doesn't really matter, um, depends what you want yours to look like and I'm going to go to format, center and form and horizontal so it's right in the middle and I'm going to call this download URL and then I'm going to center in the middle again because I think it's moved yes it has now I'm going to control C both for them and control V them because I can't be bothered to create oh to bring them in again uh, bring them in again. And I'm going to save this uh, change this to save directory. Now there's going to be another two labels here. One of them will be the current status. And the other one will be its progress, or its download status, even. Okay, so we need to span this out a little bit more, so we can add in our progress bar. If you want a progress bar, that is, you might as well. Um, you can make it whatever size you want. And then the button here will be download. Then the other button 
will be save two, which is the uh, browse. You can actually just have the uh, browse button uh, right next to the save directory if you really want to, it to be there. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to click. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just do save two. Now you could do it to where they click download and then the save to comes up. If you wish to do that, go ahead. And at the end here we're going to have cancel. And now we want to go ahead and add in our dialogues. So we want a open file dialog. So not an open file dialog. We want a save file dialog and we want to go ahead and add in a timer. Uh, so once they get added in, um, there's certain codes for this, obviously, and we want to do go ahead and go into the code of this. And the first thing we want to do is click Enter near public, uh, sorry, public class. Go up and put import, and then system. Dot net. Now we also want to add something here. It's called private with events. That failed with events HTTP client without the capital C as web client. Okay, so now what we need to do is uh, we need to double click the save to. I'm doing this in no particular order, and we need to put save file dialog one dot show dialog. We're then going to put save file dialog one dot title equals save file two. Then we're going to put text box two dot text equals save file dialog one dot file name or is it selected path? No, it's file name. Then button one, which is our download. We want to put progress bar one dot style equals progress bar bar style dot continuous. We're then going to put message box starting to download. Now you could actually just totally ignore this message box; it doesn't really matter. But either way, um, if you've got it in or not, it makes no difference really. Then we're going to add progress bar one dot style equals progress bar style dot blocks. Then we're going to have HTTP client equals new web client. We're then going to put dim download in lowercase as string equals text box one dot text. Dim save as string equals text box two dot text they're going to put http client dot download file async then new yuri they're going to add a open bracket and put download then a end bracket and then we're going to put comma and then save they're going to put label three dot text equals current uh, current status downloading and then we go to add something in here which is a private sub so private sub http cli uh, client that failed client underscore download progress changed sender as object comma he has download progress changed event args end bracket and then handles http client dot download progress changed and we click enter and it will create this um this uh, thing now I'll just make sure it's correct http client progress changed um anyway we're going to put progress one Progress bar dot one dot maximum equals e dot total total bytes receive uh, 
and then we're going to put progress bar one dot value equals e dot bytes received uh, how have I spelled receive wrong and then label for dot text equals download status and e dot per uh, sorry e dot progress percentage and and then a little percent icon or symbol then we're going to put if e dot progress dot percentage equals 100 then uh, label 3 dot text equals current status and then complete uh, make sure you spell complete right um oh I put data complete okay make sure it's progress changed event args and then the uh, thing will go progress changed event args Right, let's retype like this e dot total bytes to receive e dot progress percentage uh, there you go that's all correct that's what was actually on um, so where it says download a lot dot load up here you want to put label 3 dot current sorry label 3 dot text equals current status and then idle because we're not doing anything and finally cancel is http client dot a uh, sorry cancel async uh, no that's policy uh, cancel async and that is how easy that is um, if you want to make your downloader look more professional go ahead you could have it like that really it could be like that uh, oh, what have I done? Uh, you could have this there move this up and then it could look like that now we want to double click the form again we want to come over to downloader events and where it says form closing you want to put try and then if uh, HTTP client dot download file async dot um, download file equals in uh, I don't know if this is going to work download where's the download button here it is um, we're going to add something here where it says label four dot text sorry label five dot text actually no we're not we're going to uh, copy this and then we're going to put if and then paste it then oh we can't uh, okay right just totally ignore this because it's form closing it's, it's not like when you're uh, about to close the entire form alright so if we press save we press the uh, debug now if I press the downloader it pops up on my screen now if I want to download an image I'll just try and download something associated to me you know what this will do if you want to click on the link it'll be in DN no I don't mean that link Jesus Christ Google uh, I believe if you oh okay that that's not going to be the right one is it Right, let me put this in full screen. Um, there's one way it's not going to locate me to YouTube. Is that going to? Yes, it is. I think all of it's going to locate me to YouTube. So I'm going to just put alphabet. Just because it's probably the only thing that's not going to associate me with YouTube. <laughs> God. Uh, well, let's just copy this and see if this is going to be the right one for us. 
download save to desktop as test.png click save and click download starting to download and now it should start to download as you can see there were, um, if you didn't see already uh, value is minus one is not uh, for maximum Oh right, um, I've literally just realised why. Basically, because this um, image is so like quick to download, it's not going to allow you to download it. As right, let's just stop debugging. As if we just went to the uh, link, you could literally just right click it and save the target as, and it would down uh, it would let you download it for that. And because it's so like small. And it's just like no point in downloading to be honest. It just downloads so quick. Then, it, no, it, it needs to be at least one megabyte to download. So, yeah, obviously, this was 1.15 kilobytes. So, that, that was the reason for that. I used a very bad example. So, it's not the coding, it's nothing. So, you could actually just remove that. So, yeah, that, that's just my fault. I uh, forgot all about that. So, so moving on. Uh, you want to click save just because you don't want to lose it and we're going to duplicate calculator and we're going to put calculator uh, vb okay I accidentally put vb dot show and now if I double click on my calculator um, I will then go ahead and make it around this size um, I'm going just to call the form calculator um, whatever and I'm going to put the maximize as false oh same with the download actually that's what you want to do put the maximize as false maximize false false Downloader, uh, sorry, calculator. You want to go ahead and remove the icon. Unless if you have them, if you have them, go ahead and put it on. But if you don't, then no way. Um, then you want to put it up to fixed single, so no one can uh, change the size of it. And I'm going to add in two text boxes. Uh, they're going to be around here. And I'm probably going to do just uh, Control C and Control V that. So somewhere around there. Um, then going to add a label uh, as you do. Add a label and this will be equals. Now I'm going to add in another label and this is going to be the integer of it. Uh, so basically this is just going to be the number that it generates so I'm going to put it as 12 um, I'm then going to put a, a button the button will be um, it will be the uh, plus sign and let me just try and get this to the reasonable size uh, that'll do uh, the next button will be a minus sign. I'm just going to put that there. I need to sneeze, but I don't want to. <coughs> be mean. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to uh, do this. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. One, two. And now, if you m put it like that, go and format and horizontal, make it equal. You'll make them all equal. Now this one here is a minus. This one here, I believe, is a times. So just put an X. And I think, if I am correct, the last one is a divide. But because I don't have the divide symbol, I'm just going to put a slash. So, but in, uh, the first thing that we're going to do is double click the background again. And here, just underneath public class, we're going to put dim int 1 
as new integer dim int 2 as new uh, new integer as int is a integer anyway so uh, we then go to delete this calculate dot vb um so we're going to code minus first uh let's just go to the downloader so double click minus and we're going to put if text box one dot text equals nothing or text box uh text box no it's supposed to say or and um, let's see the why that's not there or text box two dot text equals nothing then message box please insert a number first then we're going to put else oh wait we need to put message box for show um, then we're going to put else and then try int 1 equals text box 1 dot text then int 2 equals text box 2 dot text and then we're going to put label 1 dot text equals actually no we're going to put label 2 dot text label 2 dot text equals uh, then plus int 1 no, sorry, and int one, one, uh, int one, e, uh, minus int two. Then under catches exception, we're going to put msg box, and then invalid number. Actually, no, we're going to change this to integer. And you can really just copy this code if you really want to for all of them. So if you went to plus you go to plus paste it change this to plus and it is that simple and then if we went to times you paste it change this to the x and uh, sorry star um because star is a times so if you really wanted to you could come in here and you could change this to star as in times um it doesn't really matter uh, here is divide, so we're going to put slash, and that is it. That is how simple this coding is. Uh, calculate is probably the most easiest thing out of them all. So if you opened it up, um, did calculator, uh, they can't resize it. So you do five. Wait, that's not five. Far, but four times five, and click times. It's twenty, and you could do minus one minus, which would just minus the integers. Um, you could divide them and that's how easy that gets downloader oh yeah I've already shown you the downloader but I haven't shown you that it can't be moved so yeah now there's one thing that we haven't done and that's we haven't coded it so if we press control D or con control D is to uh, delete the tab in it uh, so if we do control C as you can see it's not opening up the uh, calculator and I'll put control L as uh, as the downloader thing so we need to go ahead and go back into form one file we need to put okay right sorry i forgot to exit we're going to put downloader and calculator and we're going to add this shortcut key as control and l oh sorry l wherever you are there you are now we're going to put calculator as control and c uh, no, we can't put C, can we? We'll put A, just because Control C is like a copy thing. So if there was on the thing, press Control C, it would copy it. Um, anyway, if we duplicate the downloader, we want to put download uh, dot show. Then we're going to put calculator uh, calculator vb dot show for you guys. It won't be vb, but I accidentally did add a vb when I was creating up the form. And that will be done. So now, if we press Control L, so Control and L, it pops up on the screen. And if we press Control and A, Control A, um, no, okay, that was Control S. If I press Control A, okay, Control A doesn't want to work. Oh wait, Control A is oh, that's why we can't have that either. 
uh, control and U. Send into Janat, bitch. You. Oh, right, it's debugged. Uh, control and U. And then click save and then start it up. Alright, so now it's just controlling you. Uh, there you go, and it's up. So that is that, and that is the shortcuts for that. Uh, next episode, we are going to be doing the uh, bookmarks and the history, and then there will be the final, uh, final episode where I show you guys the full screen or the real full screen coding. I uh, show you how to suppress these errors that we sometimes get on uh, this web browser and um, anything else really that I forgot like um, what else have I forgot oh yeah like full screen and all that stuff here so guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you have please a rating as it really does help me out and don't forget to save your product and get ready for the next episode guys anyway guys I hope I see you next time